on, Chris. Got a bit of a problem. <laughs> Thanks. This is it, the emblem of Teugshu. Whoa, it looks so magical. That's nothing. Watch this. I've heard that if I illuminate the entire emblem with my measuring staff, it will summon magical spirits called Wills of the Wisp. Here we go. Oh, that's odd. The emblem didn't do anything. Hmm, hold on. What's that over there? Oh yeah, it looks like some of the emblem is covered up. Those pesky vines are getting everywhere. Don't worry, my measuring staff can also cast a spell on those vines and clear them away. But to do that, we'll have to work out exactly how much of the emblem circle they're covering up. Well? Well? Sorry Chris, it happened again. So in our previous adventure, I learned that a circle has a radius, a diameter, a circumference, and an area. The circumference is equal to pi multiplied by the diameter, or pi d, and the area is equal to pi multiplied by the radius squared, or pi r squared, right? Exactly. But this time, to work out how much of the emblem is covered with vines, we're going to need two other features related to a circle an arc and a sector. An arc is part of a circle's circumference, and a sector is part of a circle's area. But to measure those, we'll also need to measure the central angle, which is the angle in the middle of the circle between the two straight edges of the arc and sector. OK, so we've got an arc, a sector, and a central angle. If an arc is part of a circle's circumference, and the sector is part of a circle's area. I reckon the first thing we'll need to do is work out the full circumference and area, right? You've got it! My measuring staff tells me that this full circle has a diameter of 14 metres. Let's say we want to work out the size of this arc's length and this sector's area. Great! I better start by working out this circle's circumference and area. I know exactly how to do this now. The circumference is equal to pi d, so on my calculator, I'll press the pi button, press the multiply button, type 14, and press the equals button, which gives me 43.982297153. I'll round that to two decimal places, so there's- Hey, not so fast, Will! To make sure our calculations are as accurate as possible, we need to leave all the rounding to the very end. Whoa, that was close. I'll save that answer for later instead. Now let's work out the area, which is equal to pi r squared. I'll start by doing the radius squared. If the diameter is 14 meters and the radius is always half as long as the diameter, that means the radius is equal to seven meters. Seven squared, or seven times seven, is equal to 49. Now I need to multiply 49 by pi. So on my calculator, I'll press the pi button, press the multiply button, type 49, and press the equals button, which gives me 153.93804000259. Superb! Now that we know the full circle circumference and area, we can work out the size of this arc length and its sector's area. The next thing we need to do is calculate how much of the full circle this part is. It's time to measure that central angle I mentioned. OK, great. But how do we measure an angle? Well, fortunately, the top of my measuring staff has a nifty tool called a protractor, which we use to measure angles. Ooh, fancy. To measure an angle with a protractor, we just place the zero degrees point on one of the angle's straight edges and see where the other side ends up. You might notice that there's two sets of numbers, one that counts up clockwise and one that counts up anti-clockwise. We only need the clockwise numbers, so let's ignore the other set. My measuring staff tells me that this central angle is 180 degrees. That's really handy. 
What do we do next? Well, the central angle of a complete circle is 360 degrees. And we can tell how big part of a circle is by comparing how big its central angle is to that of a complete circle. To do that, we need to divide 180 by 360, which gives us 0.5. That's exactly one half. And this is half a circle. Exactly. If the angle is 90 degrees, we divide 90 by 360 to get 0.25, or a quarter of a circle. If the angle is 45 degrees, we divide 45 by 360 to get 0.125, or an eighth of a circle, and so on. As the central angle gets smaller, the size of the arc length and sector area gets smaller. And as the central angle gets bigger, the size of the arc length and sector area gets bigger. OK, so we know that this central angle is equal to 180 degrees, and 180 divided by 360 is equal to 0 0.5. How do we use that to work out the size of the arc and sector? Well, once we know what the central angle divided by 360 is equal to, we multiply that by the full circumference to calculate the arc length, and by the full area to calculate the sector's area. Ah, cool! So if we start by working out the arc length, we'll need the circumference, which I worked out to be 43.98229715031. If we multiply that number by 0 0.5, we get 21.9911485752. Now we can start rounding our answers. Ah, thank goodness. So the arc length is equal to 21.99 metres, right? Spot on. Now let's work out the sector's area. And for that, we need the full circle's area which I worked out to be 153.93804002529 square metres. And if we multiply that number by 0 0.5, we get 76.96902013. So the sector's area is 76.97 square metres. You got it. Ah, great. So the arc is part of the circle's circumference, and the sector is part of the circle's area. So we need to work out the full circumference and area first. Then we work out how big the portion is by measuring the central angle of the portion and dividing it by 360. Finally, we multiply the answer by the circumference to get the arc length, and by the area to get the sector area. I think we're ready to make the spell that'll clear away the vines, so the emblem of Toikshire can summon the Wheels of the Wisp. Great. So according to my measuring staff, the diameter of the emblem circle is 3.8 metres. OK, I'll start by working out the length of the arc that the vines cover. To do that, I first need to work out the circumference of the whole emblem, which is pi times as long as the diameter, or pi d. So I'll multiply 3.8 by pi. On my calculator, I'll press the pi button, press the multiply button, type 3.8, and press the equals button, which tells me that the circumference of the emblem is 11.93805208836 metres. Now I know the circumference, I can work out the arc length. Fantastic! My measuring staff tells me that the central angle of this bit is 54 degrees. OK. So I'll divide 54 by 360. On my calculator, I'm going to type 54, press the divide button, type 360, and press the equals button, which tells me that this part of the circle is 0.15 times as big as the whole circle. Then I'm going to multiply that by the circumference. I don't need to type out 0.15 again, because it's still on my calculator. So I'll just press the multiply button, type out the circumference, and press the equals button, which gives me 1.79070781825. That means that this arc of the emblem circle is 1.79 metres long. Spot on! We'll get rid of those vines in no time. Next, I'll work out the area of the sector that the vines cover. To do that, I first need to work out the area of the whole emblem, which is pi times as large as the radius squared, or pi r squared. If the diameter of this emblem circle is 3.8 metres, and the radius is always half as long as the diameter, 
that means the radius of this circle is 1.9 meters. So on my calculator, I'm going to start by doing the radius squared. I'll type 1.9, press the square button, and press the equals button, which gives me 3.61. Then I'm going to multiply 3.61 by pi. So I'm going to press the multiply button, press the pi button, and press the equals button, which tells me that the area of the emblem circle is 11.34114947.95 square meters. We're getting close. Remember, this part of the circle is 0.15 times as big as the whole circle. Yep, so I'm going to multiply that by the area. I'll press the multiply button, type 0.15 and press the equals button which gives me 1.70117242219. That means this sector of the emblem circle is 1.7 square meters. Nailed it. Well, I think we've got everything we need to read the spell, clear those vines, and summon the wills of the wisp. It's your time to shine, Chris. na crown fune, e en kiel yalath Hanoth un pain shak nai meter ugach ham fajingo un pain shak meter carnigo. I've never seen something so magical. Okay, so I'm going to quickly remind myself. The arc is part of the circle's circumference and the sector is part of the circle's area. So we need to work out the full circumference and area first. Then we work out how big the portion is by measuring the central angle of the portion and dividing it by 360. Finally, we multiply the answer by the circumference to get the arc length, and by the area to get the sector area. Let's play a game. After a quick walk, Will and I have found another forest with emblems that are all covered in vines. To clear away the vines and summon more Wills of the Wisp, I want you to work out the arc length and sector area for the bits of each emblem circle that are covered. Here's the first one. My measuring staff tells me that its diameter is 2.7 metres, and the central angle of the covered portion is 18 degrees. What is the covered portion's arc length and sector area equal to? If you want, you can pause the video and do it all by yourself or keep watching to hear Will's answers. If you're doing it yourself, you can grab your calculator if you want to use it. Okay, I'll start by working out the length of the arc that the vines cover. To do that, I first need to work out the circumference of the whole emblem, which is pi d. So on my calculator, I'll multiply 2.7 by pi. I'm going to press the pi button, press the multiply button, type 2.7 and press the equals button, which tells me that the circumference of the first emblem circle is 8.482300 meters. Now I know the circumference, I can work out the arc length. The central angle of this portion is 18 degrees, so I'll divide 18 by 360. On my calculator, I'm going to type 18, press the divide button, type 360, and press the equals button, which tells me that this part of the circle is 0.05 times as big as the whole circle. Then I'm going to multiply that by the circumference. So I'll press the multiply button, type out the circumference, and press the equals button, which gives me 0.42411500082. That means this arc length of the first emblem circle is 0.42 meters long. Okay, so far so good. 
Next, I'll work out the area of the sector that the vines cover. To do that, I first need to work out the area of the whole emblem, which is pi r squared. If the diameter of this emblem circle is 2.7 meters, and the radius is always half as long as the diameter, that means the radius of this circle is 1.35 meters. So on my calculator, I'm going to start by doing the radius squared. I'm going to type 1.35, press the square button, and press the equals button, which gives me 1.8225. Then I'm going to multiply 1.8225 by pi. So I'm going to press the multiply button, press the pi button, and press the equals button, which tells me that the area of the first emblem circle is 5.725552611212 square meters. We're almost there. Remember, this part of the circle is 0.05 times as big as the whole circle. Right, so I'm going to multiply that by the area. I'll press the multiply button, type 0.05 and press the equals button, which gives me 0.28627763306. That means the area of this sector of the first emblem circle is 0.29 square meters. Great, here's the next one. My measuring staff tells me that its diameter is 4.2 meters and the angle of the covered portion is 117 degrees. What is the covered part's arc length and sector area equal to? Okay, I'll start by working out the length of the arc that the vines cover. So I'll work out the circumference of the whole emblem first. On my calculator, I'll multiply 4.2 by pi. I'm going to press the pi button, press the multiply button, type 4.2 and press the equals button, which tells me that the circumference of the second emblem is 13.19468914511 meters. Now I know the circumference, I can work out the arc length. The central angle of this portion is 117 degrees. So I'll divide 117 by 360. On my calculator, I'm going to type 117, press the divide button, type 360, and press the equals button, which tells me that this part of the circle is 0.325 times as big as the whole circle. Then I'm going to multiply that by the circumference. So I'll press the multiply button, type out the circumference, and press the equals button, which gives me 4.28827397222. That means this arc of the second emblem circle is 4.29 meters long. Nice, halfway there. Next, I'll work out the area of the sector that the vines cover. So I'll work out the area of the whole emblem first. If the diameter of this emblem circle is 4.2 meters, and the radius is always half as long as the diameter. That means the radius of this circle is 2.1 meters. So on my calculator, I'm going to start by doing the radius squared. I'm going to type 2.1, press the square button, and press the equals button, which gives me 4.41. Then I'm going to multiply 4.41 by pi. So I'm going to press the multiply button, press the pi button, and press the equals button which tells me that the area of the second emblem circle is 13.85442360232 square meters. Nearly done. Remember, this bit of the circle is 0.325 times as big as the whole circle. Right, so I'm going to multiply that by the area. I'll press the multiply button, type 0.325 and press the equals button which gives me 4.50268767607. That means the area of this sector of the second emblem circle is 4.5 square meters. Amazing. Here's the last one. My measuring staff tells me that its radius is 5.3 meters and the angle of the covered portion is 254 degrees. What is the covered portion's arc length and sector area equal to? Okay, I'll start by working out the length of the arc that the vines cover. So I'll work out the circumference of the whole emblem first. If the radius of this emblem circle is 5.3 meters and the diameter is always twice as long as the radius, 
that means the diameter of this circle is 10.6 meters. So on my calculator, I'll multiply 10.6 by pi. I'm going to press the pi button, press the multiply button, type 10.6 and press the equals button, which tells me that the circumference of the third emblem circle is 33.30088212821 meters. Now I know the circumference, I can work out the arc length. The central angle of this portion is 254 degrees, so I'll divide 254 by 360. On my calculator, I'm going to type 254, press the divide button, type 360, and press the equals button, which tells me that this part of the circle is 0.70555555566. times as big as the whole circle. That's a lot of fives. Then I'm going to multiply that by the circumference. So I'll press the multiply button, type out the circumference and press the equals button, which gives me 23.49562239919. That means this arc of the third emblem circle is 23.5 meters long. Okay, nice work. Next, I'll work out the area of the sector that the vines cover. So I'll work out the area of the whole emblem first. The radius of this circle is 5.3 meters. So on my calculator, I'm going to start by doing the radius squared. I'm going to type 5.3, press the square button and press the equals button, which gives me 28.09. Then I'm going to multiply 28.09 by pi. So I'm going to press the multiply button, press the pi button and press the equals button which tells me that the area of the third emblem circle is 88.24733763939 square meters. We're just about finished. Remember, this portion of the circle is 0.70555555556 times as big as the whole circle. Right, so I'm going to multiply that by the area. I'll press the multiply button, Type out 0.70555555556. I've never pressed the 5 button so much before. And press the equals button, which gives me 62.26339933. That means the area of this sector of the third emblem circle is 62.26 square metres. Brilliant. It looks like we've got everything we need to clear away the vines and let the emblems summon the Wills of the Wisp. Ah, this is going to be incredible. Let's do it, Chris. Skipli chithfalath na crown fiune, ekodahuch na tree kiel yalavin. Ha umlan na oven figitsa och pangya en meter egach. Ham fajing of Unlan, Sheskitso Shak, Pangioni, Kog Meter, Karnigoch. They're going to give those back, right? <laughs> okay, so I'm going to quickly remind myself one more time. The arc is part of the circle's circumference and the sector is part of the circle's area. So we need to work out the full circumference and area first. Then we work out how big the portion is by measuring the central angle of the portion and dividing it by 360. Finally, we multiply the answer by the circumference to get the arc length and by the area to get the sector area. You're a circle master now, Will. Did you know that a circle has even more features? A chord is a straight line that connects two points on the circumference. A segment is the area inside a chord and an arc. A tangent is a straight line that touches the circumference at only one point. And a cyclic quadrilateral is a four-sided shape with all four corners on the circle's circumference. 
Wow, I never realised there were so many secrets hiding in every single circle. Thanks Chris. If you want to keep practising, download the worksheet in the video description, which includes the chance for you to piece together an ancient spell and summon even more Wills of the Wisp. If you haven't already, make sure to watch the first Measuring Circles video, where Chris and Will go on an adventure to use the circumference and area to bring magical stone circles to life. Learn with Will is on Coffee where you can support the channel with either a one-off donation or a monthly contribution. Just follow the link in the video description. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to learn more science, English and maths with Will and let me know what you want to learn next by commenting below or emailing info at learnwithwill.co.uk